Everyone, everyone, settle down and shut your face. It's time for chapter 13, morphine, nicotine, and caffeine. I know, contain yourselves. These three drugs, morphine, nicotine, and caffeine, may not be the most potent drugs. However, these drugs are quite powerful. Since their respective discoveries, these drugs have changed humanity forever. For good or for bad, that's up for you to decide. Opium, for quite some time, was used as a painkiller and even as a recreational drug. It is produced from the poppy plant. Alexander the Great encountered opium during his conquests. The active ingredient in opium is morphine. In the past, morphine was seen as the cure for many diseases, from ones like asthma, emphysema, and tuberculosis, to little things like a cough or a sore throat. But how does morphine work? Morphine actually mimics endorphins. Endorphins are the chemicals the brain makes to ease pain and are associated with happiness and euphoria. What makes morphine so unique is its chemical structure. Morphine and its derivatives have a unique chemical structure that follows the morphine rule. I know, very creative. This rule is essential to the narcotic effects of morphine. The morphine rule is actually pretty complex, but what matters is knowing that it's what gives morphine and its derivatives like heroin their narcotic effects. Christopher Columbus. He took people's stuff, killed them, and gave it to all his rulers. Basically, the perfect person to discover America. He also brought tobacco home with him to Europe. This new drug became extremely popular because it was so addictive. Tobacco is actually composed of over 10 alkaloids. The most common? Nicotine. Nicotine is a pretty crazy drug. In small doses, it acts as a stimulant. Stimulants increase bodily functions, like heart rate and blood pressure. In large doses, however, nicotine acts as a depressant, which does the opposite. Another not-so-fun fact, nicotine is also used as a natural pesticide. What? Have you ever seen those videos of baseball players spitting during a game? Yeah, that's tobacco. Nicotine is 1,000 times more potent when absorbed through skin, like the skin inside of your cheek, than when smoked. Without a doubt, caffeine is the most consumed drug in history. Coffee, chocolate, soda, tea leaves, and so much more contain caffeine. Even children consume caffeine. Caffeine is famous for its energy-creating effects. I know you can't see it, but energy creating was in air quotes. Take note of that. Why was energy creating in air quotes? Well, caffeine does not actually add energy to the body. It blocks adenosine. Adenosine is one of the chemicals in our brain that makes us feel tired. When caffeine blocks it, we feel more awake. Another fact about caffeine, it can be lethal. It is estimated that between 80 grams and 100 grams of caffeine can kill a person. However, consuming that much caffeine is almost impossible. Caffeine is also very addictive. Three different magical unicorn glittery drugs, morphine, nicotine, and caffeine. These substances, these mere chemical combinations, have manipulated humanity for generations. The drug trade, both legal and illegal, is one of the world's most successful and powerful businesses. Well, the fat lady isn't singing, but it's over. If you've shut your face, you can unshut it now. If you're hearing this message, you may or may not have been injected with an experimental mutagen. If any of your peers or classmates appear to be growing wings, remain calm.